All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, this one here is an interview uh, on DJ Vlad's channel. He's interviewing uh, Godfrey. All right, and uh, there was a brother who left this link in the comment and basically, uh, you know, said, you know, this video made him mad so that he had to leave a comment on this video, you know, so I went and checked it out and um, yeah, it, I could see, you know, it makes you mad, you know, but with understanding in the scriptures, you're going to have guys like this, you know, which is uh, deprived of understanding you know the lord is just not dealing with godfrey nor he's dealing with dj vlad now dj vlad over the time made statements that he knows you know he claims is in his uh his his heritage or let's say his uh his his bloodline to be uh so-called jew you know he's mad at nick cannon right now from what nick cannon said about the uh amalekites you know and uh, Vlad said many times, you know, this is where, you know, it says line goes back to. So, you know, I always thought Vlad could possibly be an Israelite. But, hey, after this interview, you know, I believe more so uh, on the side of he may be an Edomite, you know, and just might be from what he say he is, you know, being an Amalekite. These Amalekites are, uh, are Esau Edom, you know. And um, with this uh, interview going back and forth, you can see Godfrey, you know, he's playing go along to get along, playing along with uh, DJ Vlad emotions because Vlad is pissed. You know, uh, matter of fact, the title of this video is Vlad goes off on Godfrey about the absurdity of a chosen people. All right. So, you know, matter of fact, let me look this word up real quick. I had it queued up, not on the phone, but. On my on my computer absurdity all right absurdity it says the quality or state of being ridiculous or widely unreasonable okay the quality or state of being ridiculous or widely unreasonable so absurdity you know his he thinks uh, basically Vlad uh, calls it ridiculous that anybody should be calling themselves the chosen people. And why he say that is because it brings a lot of controversy. It brings to other people to get mad, you know, because, you know, it, it offends them in their faith. Well, uh, this video is in response to you, Vlad, you know, that uh, we didn't ever call ourselves the chosen people. It was the Most High who called us his chosen people. All right. Matter of fact, he said we're special people unto him. OK. And then you see in the interview, you see Godfrey. He made a little mockery, his little comic, you know, his little uh, jokes. And he imitated as if he was a prophet, you know, and when he was doing it, you know, I see that can make brothers mad. But, you know, I see what he was saying and his, you know, his little joking, you know, you do got groups and I'm thinking of that ISUPK. All right. You know, they that group of guys, they were all black. And when they do go out, you know, they will, you know, put before the uh, video the intro, you know, such as uh, Johanna tears up, you know, this street, Johanna tears up that street or whatever. And, and if you watch them, they stand on, you know, on the pole, on Napoleon, whatever, on the stage and they call and pick on people walking by. So, you know, I didn't get too mad, but. Then again, it just shows Godfrey and his ignorance, you know, of mocking the prophets. You know, you were mocking, man, you know, and you had Mike Epps, which apologized to brothers. And then I think he deleted his apology. And then I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Mike Epps ran into um, the brothers in California like two times, you know, and brothers told him you had the other guy. I can't think of his name right now who actually died and he made mockery of the prophets, you know, but. To say all that, to say this, is that you got two guys here. You got Godfrey, you know, he's uh, known, 
you got DJ Vlad. You know, these guys are supposed to be very informative. You know, they, they research, they, they look into things, you know, they've been around the world, you know, and for them to be in this ignorance, to act like, you know, that men are just mad men, you know, the prophets are just mad men out there teaching bullshit or just to say that we're the chosen because Edom says that he was the chosen. It's, it's not the case, you know, and I believe Vlad, this is my humble opinion, I believe Vlad. You know, because he does research, Vlad, with mo he does interviews with movie actors, rappers, and so on. You know, he gets into, you know, the uh, the the uh, what you call he gets into he gets into the uh, information that's needed to have a good video. So he learns about the people who he interview. You mean to tell me Vlad didn't see or watch videos of brothers prophesizing? And really get into the scriptures and see lessons and sit downs that brothers do. You know, Vlad is just mad. He's big mad because he realized that we are the chosen people. So that's what happens when Edom, you know, he uh, gets exposed. Basically, nobody could be the chosen. You know, nobody could be the chosen. So absurdity means what? The quality or state of being ridiculous or widely unreasonable. So it's unreasonable to him. And it's ridiculous. For anybody to call themselves the chosen people. Well you must have a problem with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay you have a problem with the power that runs the universe. Okay because we didn't call ourselves the chosen people. He called us the chosen people. Just as well as these uh, Edomites. Which are the Edomites of the so called white people. All right. The so-called white man and white woman, all right, from the seed of their fathers. You know, if your line goes back to being a so-called European, then you're an Edomite, all right? And really, you know, starting with the house of Esau, which are these international bankers, the 1% in which you know who runs the world, all right, which is, uh, you know, in particular, the Rothschilds, the Bilderbergs, you know, and so on, all right? These, that's the house of Esau who runs the world. Okay, Job 9 and 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So we know who's ruling right now, and that's Esau. But anyway, Esau teaches in the school system that, that, um, that you know, we should pay homage to their forefathers. We know who their forefathers are, who supposedly laid the foundation, you know, their constitution and everything here. But what happened to our forefathers? Our forefathers is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. OK, because the so-called blacks, Latinos, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics and Native and Seminole Indians, our identity and, and, and heritage was taken away. All right. We are now called. We're called by the names in which they put on us. So for Godfrey and DJ Vlad in this interview, shame on you, you know, and especially you, Godfrey, because his interviews be mainly you know, factual and truth, even though he makes a little comic about things and it'd be funny, you know, but to make fun of this and which you don't know is going to lead to your destruction. And especially you, Godfrey, because you're an Israelite, you know, I believe he's from Nigeria, you know. So, um, you know, I brought that out. I'll probably leave in the post-production the, the word absurd, absurd, absurdity, right? The quality of state of being ridiculous or widely unreasonable, you know, and DJ Vlad, you're nothing but a, de a devil, you know, because you know better. You know what this is all about, you know, but let me, um, I got two scriptures queued up and first off, let's go to Deuteronomy 7 and, um, I could start at the first verse and you know what? It's going to be a long lesson if I do, but, uh, you know, I'm going to just skim right through it, right? Because, uh, you know, hopefully you get the understanding, those of the whole four elect, you know, and I'll leave a link to the video to check it out in which this interview, this interview was about. All right. So um, this is Deuteronomy chapter seven and uh, one. It says, when Yahweh thou power shall bring thee into the land, whether thou goest to possess it and have cast out many nations before thee. The Hittites, the Gergesites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Persians and the Havites and the Jebusites. Seven nations greater and mightier than thou. All right. So you can clearly see by this, this uh, 
first verse that the Lord is dealing with one people and he have what cast out these other nations so that Israel can have their possession. All right. To have these lands. And these are the Hamites. All right. So verse two, it says, and when Yahweh thou power shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Now, why am I reading this? Is because Vlad argument is that nobody should be the chosen. It's ridiculous. It's absurdity. All right. It's unreasonable to everybody else's faith and what they believe in. You know, he clearly has a problem with the most high. All right. Throughout all the scriptures, you can clearly see that the God of the Bible is the God of Israel, which is the God that runs the universe. But he have chosen him a particular people. All right. And then you go, I give Godfrey some credit. Uh, let me come back. I give Godfrey some sort of credit because toward the end of the video, he, uh, you know, started to tell why there's a reaction. Uh, and what, well, well, he says in his words, why we're out there and why it would be people out there, us out there saying that we're the chosen because of Esau, you know, claiming that he was the chosen, you know, so he drawed it right back to the problem, which is you Edomites, you know, even though he's playing the fence and going along to get along, you know, he started to go into it before the, the, in, the interview got cut off, you know. So let's get back to that um, Deuteronomy 7 and 2. And when the and when Yahweh thou power shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them, thou daughters. Thou shalt not give unto his sons or his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thou son. Okay, because, you know, the Lord didn't want... Here it is. You got an Israelite man marrying a heathen woman and then his son come out, you know, and not and not follow after Yahweh Bashem Yahweh because he would be upset that his mother would be treated a certain way. All right. Why was his mother being a heathen and his father being a prince? You know, that would bring confusion to the child. So here's the Lord making separation. All right. We're not all together, man. And there's religions. And false philosophies out here that are that that are uh, uh, of Satan, okay. If it's not of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, then it's of Satan because it's not of the truth. So yes, people are going to be offended. A Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is purposely offending you other nations, and especially you Edomites. All right, here it is Edom up here, you know, knowing the truth now. He knows the truth now, so here nobody should be the chosen. It's ridiculous. You hear that, man? That's, that's, it's Esau for you. That's why I believe, you know, Vlad is an Edomite, even though through this time I thought he could possibly be an Israelite. But anyway, uh, let's continue. Verse 4, for they will turn away the sons from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of Yahweh be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. All right. But thus shall ye deal with them. Ye shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves and burn their graven images with fire. It says, for thou, here's the point, all right? For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thou power. Yahweh thou power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You know, and that's a straight cut. You know, I cannot sit here and believe that Vlad did not read that scripture before or did not hear brothers prophesizing and bring this out. You know, that's a, a famous scripture. OK, to, to prove that the Lord is only dealing with one people, which is one nation. OK, one nation of people, not all nations. OK. He have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Now the word holy, okay, holy people, we always go into this holy means separate. So he says, a holy people unto Yahweh thou power. Yahweh thou power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So not only we're separate people, but we're also a special people. This is not us calling ourselves this or choosing to be this because Esau called it, you know, just out of that ignorance. No. This is the truth, 
which our identity was robbed and stolen from uh, from us. And this is what the Lord have chosen and called us. Not that we have called and chosen the Lord. Okay. This is why Esau Edom went along. Okay. To call himself a so-called Jew. Because he wanted to be these. He wanted to be uh, the Lord's uh, people. Special people unto himself. But he's not. He's an Edomite. Okay. And he have lied through many years, man. So, um, bear with me one second. I got to. All right, Salaki, I had to erase some memory, uh, some videos. So anyway, um, I was back, uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, it says, For thou art holy people unto Yahweh thou power. Yahweh thou power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all that is upon, that is upon, that are upon the face of the earth. All right, so we didn't call ourselves the chosen people. The Lord called us the chosen people. And he made us a special people unto unto himself, okay? And it says, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So uh, here in verse 7, it says, The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor chose you, because ye were more in number than any people. For ye were the fewest of all people, but because Yahweh loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, have Yahweh brought you out of out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bond men from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt? All right. So according to our forefathers, all right, our heavenly father kept his promise and his oath. OK. And um, let's see here. It says, verse nine, know therefore that Yahweh thou power, he is the most high, the faithful power, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Okay. You know, scriptures say also that the Lord changed not at least Jacob be consumed. And right now we're in what you call 2020. Our heavenly father have not changed right now. We're actually witnessing the prophecies of the scriptures. Okay. You got the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. You got the rumors of wars going on, earthquakes in diverse places. You have the signs in the heavens and the sea. Okay, all over, man. So we're witnessing, you know, the, the end of the world, which is the end of Esau. Vlad knows who, who we are. And it's just now he's calling it absurdity. Absurd, absurdity, you know, the quality of state of being ridiculous or wildly unreasonable to call yourself the chosen people. We didn't call ourselves the chosen people. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai called us the chosen people. All right. That's why you go into the Hebrew, um, Yasha Allah, meaning he prints power, meaning we're the princes of the most high. Okay. Now, I want to read this here too, and I'll call it a, a video. I'm not going to play the video because I don't want no copyright strikes. You know, and I advise brothers, you know, if you do a response, don't play this video because Vlad will get your channel, your channel taken down or the video copyright strike and all that, you know. So um, this is Ezekiel chapter 36 and 19. It says, and I scattered them among the heathen and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings. I judged them. And when they entered into the heathen, whether they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, these are the people of Yahweh and are going forth out of his land. All right. So everywhere we go, you know, we're joint unto the most high. All right. We're married unto the heavenly father and Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So wherever we go, you know, being that the Lord's name is placed on us, then what? If we're not, uh, you know, holding the ordinance of the heavenly father, we're going to defile his name. You know, that's why. You know, the name of the Lord is very important. And that's one of the things, the first things that, you know, we have, you know, getting back our inheritance is the name of the Lord. We know who we worship. OK, so it says, and I scattered them among the heathen and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way, according to their doings. I judged them. And when they entered into the heat unto the heathen, whether they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, these are the people of Yahweh and are going forth out of his land. It says, but I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel did, will, 
excuse me, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whether they went. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, thus saith Yahweh, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whether ye went. All right, so us being out there and prophesizing, you know, is really for the sake of the Lord's name. Okay, to bring that honor and glory back unto him. You know, it's not just a black thing, you know, because that's what they want to label it as, something black, a protest. You know, it's a righteous protest that's been going on, you know, starting with our apostles here at Great Millstone going back 30 years ago, man. And we've been prophesizing ever since. And it's been the same thing. Okay, but now, you know, it's a little different because why? The Lord is fulfilling these last prophecies, man. You know, we're going right in it. We, excuse me. We're going right through it. Right now, we're in the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble. You wait till they start uh, forcing these vaccinations and eventually forcing um, them RFID microchips, which is the mark of the beast. All right. It says, um, verse 23, and I will sanctify my great name, which they, which was profane among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh saith the Lord Yahweh, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. All right. And even from here, it goes into the new covenant. All right. Which the Lord said he would take out the uh, heart of flesh. Excuse me. He would take out the stony heart and he would give us the heart of flesh. All right, so this new covenant is going to be activated. So we know that it's talking about in this day. All right, when the Lord gathered his elect from the four winds, meaning for the four, the four uh, uh, corners of the earth. All right, from every different land, whether they've been dispersed to. So, you know, the point of this lesson is that we didn't choose to be the chosen of the Most High. The Most High chose us to be a special people unto himself. You know, so basically shame on these two guys, you know, Godfrey, you know, making mockery, but then, you know, giving an explanation why, you know, we out there to prophesize. But then you got Vlad being a devil, you know, he don't want anybody calling himself. He just thinks it's ridiculous now because we're out there telling you that we're the chosen people. You know, he act like, uh, you know, his... Uh, his race didn't start this thing. You know, they stole uh, another nation's identity. Why not be mad with them, with the person who started it? You know, why are you mad at, why are you upset and think it's ridiculous for a people that's reclaiming who they are? You know, so hopefully this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.